I'll show you how to install lag bolts and it's not just as simple as you might think of just screwing them in. There's a few things you need to do beforehand. First, we need to figure out where we're going to place these lag bolts and it's a good idea not to just eyeball their placement. You want them to look nice, especially if these are exposed joints. So I'm gonna measure where I want them or you can just lay out with X's the golden rule if you wanna figure out where to put them. I'm just gonna measure up and down using the reference from the golden rule just to get a nice aesthetic joint. The golden rule is just, as you can see, a bunch of X's here and it's been used for a long time as aesthetically laying out different placements. So at each one of these X points, at each one of the crossovers is an aesthetically pleasing point where you can place something like a bolt or some sort of feature. I'll make my marks and in this case, I'm going two inches from the top and two inches from the bottom. We'll split the dimension of the six by six and a half, and that's five and a half inches, so two and three quarter is my center line. This is a three eighths lag bolt, and this is a 15 60 fourths pilot drill. Depending on the size of your lag bolt, it depends on what size you're gonna drill your pilot hole. You can look it up online, it might say on the packaging what size you need the pilot to be, but the pilot size is pretty important. If you go too small, it can crack, and if you go too big, you might not have enough thread engagement. If you have a 3 8 lag bolt, like in our case, you'll drill it with a 15 60 fourths. If you have a 7 8 lag bolt, you'll drill it with a 9 30 seconds. If you have a half inch lag bolt, you'll drill it with a 5 16 And if you have a 9 16 lag bolt, you'll drill it with a 23 60 fourths. Make sure that your drill bit is long enough. We wanna cover all the threads and then we can go all the way deep until it hits the chuck. We'll put our washers on. We'll put a clamp on to make sure everything is tight and the board won't move. An impact driver is gonna make this a lot easier to go in. It always works great when the hole is the right size. Now we can take the clamp off and that looks really nice. 